Hi everyone, I hope everybody's doing well. Well, I wanted to share with you my new system of how I organize my deep freezer. I got this idea from Alejandra. She's a professional organizer who's just fantastic. And she came up with this idea of using recycle bins to place into your freezer. Now, a few weeks ago, I was in Orlando and they had the container store there. They don't have it here where I live at, here in North Florida. So while I was there, I took advantage of a few stores while I was there. And one of them were the container store. Now, these containers that you see here are six gallon containers. They had bigger ones, but these are the ones that she recommend that you use if you're gonna try this. And they're working out fantastic. I'm just loving this because I'm not a huge fan of deep freezers. I hate that you have to bend over, dig it in, dig inside of it, take things out. If you have to place things in just to make things fit, it's just a pain. And being that I'm a couponer, it's ex you know, it's very important to me that I that I stay organized and keep myself organized. Now, my freezer is inside my garage, and when I come home from shopping, I like that I could pull into my garage, offload my freezer stuff and put it in the freezer. And this has been working out fantastic for me. It really is. So, let me just show you what I've done. Now here I put some Martha Stewart removable kitchen adhesive labels and they're working out pretty good. And I have my, uh, what you see here, I have ham written on it and I also have the date to make, you know, to ensure safety of the food, just to make sure that it's not in there too long. Um, another tip when you're trying to organize your freezer, try to take things outside of the package and, you know, repackage it if you will, because it saves a lot of space when you do it that way. I've always done it that way. I always put it into like a, a freezer baggie, write the date on it, and just make sure that, you know, you seal it really good. Now, these bins, they have handles on them, which are just, you know, I'm just loving it. Because you, all you have to do is lift it out. Let me show you. You take it out, and then you still have more room to put at the bottom. Look at that all that space because it's so deep and it, like I said it's been working out pretty good so far so good I have another freezer that I may try and um, organize it it's not as big as this one and this one isn't all that big but you know I was thinking of doing maybe another either a bigger one to put into the smaller one but either way it's working out pretty good now over here I have a um, this little basket it came with the freezer most of these freezers they come with some sort of basket that you have already and here I just have some of my cookie dough here you guys know like I said I'm, I'm a couponer so I have a lot of cookie dough and I only paid like 25 cents a pack for that cookie dough by the way so and it, it just slides you don't have to lift it up here I have some butter butter is one of those things that you can that they store it stores you know it freezes pretty well I have a lot of it like you said like I said um, and I only paid maybe 12 cents a container and I have some Cool Whip uh, for desserts, which I'm getting low on. I had a bunch of that, but I've been making a lot of summer desserts this year. So this has been working out pretty good. If you guys want to try this, like I said, it's at the container store. They were $9.99 each. And you could, the best thing you can do is if you live near a container store, go to the store itself to buy it. Do not try to buy it online if, if you can, if you can't help it because it is super expensive to purchase them online. Well, not the the price is the same, but just the, the shipping is just is gonna kill you. So <laughs> take advantage of buying it from the store. And I hope you guys like this video. And I'll be talking to you guys very soon. Thanks for watching, my friends. Talk to you soon. Bye.